What was the first piece of jewelry you bought with basketball money? Then I was playing in Toronto, 2005, six. But it's really ignorant chain with a bunch of diamonds and it was just stupid. It was a really stupid chain. It was a waste of money. What's up, GQ? This is PJ Tucker, and these are my essentials. So this is my Goyard Carry All. This is essential for me daily. Put all my stuff in it. Planes is probably the number one place I take it, just because it literally has everything from my sneakers to my iPad to you know my phone charges, everything. So it's a daily user. It's always with me. Always got some eyewear. You know, sunny all the time. Get off the plane, traveling. These Tom Ford ones are my favorite right now. It's like rose gold, kind of dope. I like them, they're stylish, but they, they also work for me on daily use, so, uh -oh. Especially getting off plane. So there's not a prescription? No prescription here. Lacy. <laughs> so this is Cartier Love Bracelet. Just one of those accessories that I just always have on me. So for me, it's essential because I wear it every single day. <laughs> you know, it's one of my more flashier pieces, but it's pretty cool. So we got Audemars there. Probably one of my favorite watches. I'm a watch guy. I wear watches every day. Just clean, simple, you know, so just, a, just an elegant piece. My watch collection does not stack up with Billy. <laughs> James Harden's collection is pretty sick. <laughs> he just got into watches and his, his collection is pretty sick. This is my cross that I literally wear every single day. I don't take it off only when I play basketball. I like it, it's clean. It's really cool, but it's just something I always have on me, so it's always essential. One time I did have it on in the game, I forgot to take it off. That's how much I have it on though, so I like literally just can tell when it's not on. So this is probably the number one essential of all essentials for me, the fannies. It's funny, they finally came back in style. <laughs> fanny packs, but now I couldn't imagine not having it. I literally keep everything in my fanny pack, from phone chargers to ear pods to you name it, cash, cars, everything. It's just easy. So obviously I wouldn't be me if my essential wasn't shoes. So <laughs> these are my Urchin Rocks. I just got these, Giuseppe made me these one of one. For some reason I like all red shoes all the time, but it was an idea I had after I designed the Rockets colorway for the team. When I started to do mine, it was right away I knew with the design of the shoe, I thought it would look really cool. Then like a red, but not just all red, but it's the materials. You can really see like between the suede, the zippers, the leather on the zippers, like python, suede, really cool. And they're mine. So I guess I wouldn't be me if I didn't do an on court shoe as well. And then since I probably wear these soon, I figured I'd do these. Undefeated Kobe one. One of my favorite colorways of any shoe, or one of my favorite shoes. But obviously, an on court shoe is definitely in my essentials because it's what I do. Pretty rare Kobe fine. Purple and purple with the white. Really dope, so I'm excited to wear these on the court. How do you feel when the league lessened up the, uh, the colorways on the court rule? The on court rule never really affected me. I've always kind of just worn what I wanted to anyway, so you know, I get fine and warnings and stuff, but you know, I kind of just always did my own thing. And I like that they did it though, because now everybody's just wearing whatever they want. And it's just showing people's personality, you know, their originality, you know. I think it's good for the game. Another essential, it's always in my bag, candles. I'm a big candle guy on the road, living in hotels, literally. You know, I like to have my own smells in my hotel room, so this one just so happened to be my guy, Nick Proclaim. Candles, got candles. Hat box, I'm a big hat guy, wear a lot of hats. So I always, you see me travel, you'll probably see me with a hat box because Probably brought a hat for outfit or something. Just to keep the brim together. It's hard to travel with a hat if it's not on your head, so you know, you just keep it safe. Make sure when it's in the, in the overhead compartment that it stays together. Yeah, so this is what he just did for me. It's kind of dope. All of them are different. And he just like freestyles and makes my stuff, so it's kind of cool. Hardware, silk, fabric on the inside. And, like made to measure for your head too, so it's perfect. When I think of the word essential, this is essential for me. <laughs> my moisturizer, yeah, I use it two or three times a day with this. My hands always moisturize, so it's easier 
handle the ball, be able to hold the ball. Because NBA ball is like the leather, like your hands gotta be moisturized to be able to grip the ball, or the ball is really slick. This is uh, my girl Crystal. She's actually her, her stuff, she makes it. She's the best, she does my facial, so. <laughs> It's her stuff, and it's wonderful. It's the best. Chris, you gotta pay me for that plug, too. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. This has been my essentials.